Next, we're going to put in the 100K resistors. And those are marked. And then also the 4.7K. And the 100K ones go in spots R7 and 8. So I'm just going to bend those the same way I've done all the rest of them. I'm going to go ahead and put those in. So it slides in there pretty nicely there, room 7. I got eight in there too. And now what I'm actually going to do is solder these at the same time I do the 4.7K ones to kind of speed it up. Those are going in 11 and 12. So I'm going to bend them. So now I have all those in there. I'm going to solder those up real quick. And then clip all the leads. And you can see that the only resistors you have left are the two output resistors. Now for those you're going to want to choose, I put a link for how to choose based on the CMOI design. I would say this generally the 30 ohm or the 20 ohm is fine um, they'll work with most headphones down to pretty low impedance but if you have extremely low impedance headphones you may want to choose a 75 ohm although the problem with that is then you're basically attenuating a lot of the things you're amplifying so you're kind of wasting your power um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the 30 ohm in this one and that's gonna be spots R5 and R6 see they're smaller than the other ones does kind of make them a little bit easier to fit in there. So I have those two in place.
you know, sometimes slide up when you when you solder. So I'm actually going to try and pull this up a little bit here. Much better. You see there, okay, with focus, you can see that they're in place. And so we'll clip those leads. And now we have all the resistors in place. Next, we're going to put in the capacitors.